calling you a radical. Two more cities after they've been looted. Back out of the new scale from hell, Bountiful and Beaver. Yeah, they're going to put a nuclear reactor in Beaver. Fuck, it's such a sham. You go through KSL, read those fucking comments. I mean, it just show, it's pathetic how fucking... People are so fucking proud of their fucking ignorance and they'll just air it in public. I mean, one word. Fukushima. These little fucking nuclear reactors will never happen. It's a fucking sham. It's a lie. By the way, they've already stole 280 fucking million dollars from the Utah taxpayer. They went from municipality to municipality and says, here, here's 200,000 to mayors. Here, 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 just bought them. Because it's all about getting this government grant money. They've already pulled the sham off. They, don't, they have no intention of fucking doing this. They've already got the money. It's all about getting that big government grant. Oh, let's see. $1.4 billion? That's what fucking Trump handed out to him? Fuck. Unbelievable. These stupid fucking sheep in Utah, they like, I mean, amps. I was part of the group that had put amps together. <laughs> it was for wind and solar. Fucking renewable. <laughs> Nuclear? It's the opposite. I mean, there's nothing more fucking unrenewable than nuclear. You realize the same little SMR reactor, oh, they're fast beaters. Some dumbass says, oh, fast beater, so 99% of the waste is gone. What? Fast beaters have no waste? <laughs> Fuck, they're that fucking stupid. They actually make more waste. Hotter, more intense. Let's see, this has been tried Idaho National Lab where these are supposed to be tested twice. Blew up. Radiated the place for time and opportunity to go to fucking Arco and get cancer. How about Santa Susana? You know about that one? Rocket 9? Exact same reactor. Way worse than Chernobyl. I've dreamed about. Blew up. Oh, that was a long time ago. Okay. How about the one that blew up in fucking Russia on the White Sea? When? 8 8 2019. John Huntsman, the ambassador to Russia. Utah governor was. Well, John, you know this is a little less. One of these SMRs are funny. Blew up. Yeah, I'm the one that collected the data. So everybody crying. So then, how can you tie this to baseball? <laughs> well, let's see. He's running around out there without a mask on after he had a fucking test. So analytics. You know, all time together. I don't give a fuck. Kevin Cash is a fuck. I mean, think. Why don't we just have a computer fucking play the games? This kid was, I mean, this is the beauty of baseball. This is the beauty, the drama, the compelling. This guy was on a Sandy Koufax. <laughs> Where's Earl Weaver when you need him? Where's Billy Martin? Where's Casey Stengel? I mean, where's Tommy Lasorda? Where, well, Dusty Baker, he wouldn't have done it. Let's review. This is a World Series Game 6. Everything is, I mean, this is the ultimate. People play their whole lives. I mean, this is it. This is the most compelling, freaking high level of drama in sport in this country. It's game six of the World Series. He goes into the sixth inning. His pitch counts at 60. 60. He's not even halfway done. He's got a two-hitter going. He struck out 10. I mean, he's going to do Koufax stuff here. I mean, he, he's right off Don Larson. You know, this is the stuff that compels people to sport. This is the drama. This is the beauty. This is the romance of the sport. So this fuckhead Cavi Cash just takes that all away. He doesn't just take it away from Blake Snow and the Devil Rays, the Rays. He took it away from Americana. He took it away from the young fan. Uh, my grandson this morning, he's nine years old. You know, Grandpa, after that move, they deserve to lose. He says, I know you was rooting for the Rays because they have that low payroll. This is a nine-year-old, a nine-year-old. He says, yeah, so was I, but you know what? They deserve to lose doing that. I'm like, you're right. 
Let's just have a computer play the fucking game. The adrenaline was fucking running in this guy. Fuck this guy. There's no doubt in my mind this game was going to end up one nothing. We're going to go to a game seven. This was going to be a legendary game. He already had 10 strikeouts. Fuck, he struck out the side twice. I mean, it's disgusting what they've done in this country. Fucking, speaking of analytics, the Jazz get bought. I can do a whole dissertation. You know, the Miller's mother-in-law, one of the Miller boys' mother-in-law was murdered at the bookstore 10 years ago. They finally charged the guy. You know, the whole Miller family thinks she married the attorney after. Larry Miller was such an intense and passionate, incredible fucking owner. He was so, I mean, you want to talk an athlete? Fuck, I watched him play when he was young. Fast pitch softball. Oh, he was all that. One intense, passionate fucking owner. When he died, she marries the attorney. She put in a, le a legacy trust so it could stay with the jazz for time and all eternity. <laughs> uh, they sold it. One point six. Analytics, big data. I mean, CIA. Ryan Smith, you know, his dad had thyroid cancer, you know. His dad's got a Utah smiley face. What's a downwinder? What's a little new scale reactor? He beat it. You know, they invented it in their basement, like word perfect and Novell and Bill Gates. So the rumor around here for a long time is that they're going to move. The NBA has the heat on the jazz, want to move them to Seattle. Look up this Adams kid. Yeah, he's born and raised here, but... Look up where he just opened his pilot secondary office, who's the sister office. Oh, Seattle. I give it two years. <laughs> They'll be out. I mean, one point C invented it in his basement. Big data. Freaking the repository. <laughs> what the fuck's that? I'll break out my certificates, my tickets from the first jazz game ever. Fuck, I had season tickets till 99. I never missed a playoff game. They suck. I mean, what they've done to it, it used to be such a beautiful fucking sport. Frank Layton was one great coach. I was so disgusted. You go back to 88 when the Dodgers won it. Fuck, I was so thrilled. I, I rooted for the Dodgers then. Fuck, I, you know, Glenn Hubbard I used to play baseball with. He and I are friends. Albert Glenn. He was on second base for the A's that night. I don't believe what I just saw. Uh, we go from that. Kevin fucking Cash and a fucking computer screen. 60 fucking pitches. A two-hitter. Fucker was, he was on it. He was fuck. Uh, it was fucking, you know. The beauty of baseball. This fuckhead stole it from all of us. You know, my, I always go back to when Fox News rolled it. How did they do this? One of by Jetstream, two of by cable TV. I remember when Fox, Operation Foxconn News run right out of the house of Windsor. You know, London, Liz, and crew roll into fucking the United States of America, Fox News. And they buy up the contract, pay billion dollars. They buy up the baseball contract to not show baseball. Let's turn it into America's team. Go them cowboy. I mean, what they, I mean, as baseball goes, Americana goes. Ask Ken Burns, the 13th fucking inning. I'll never forget this. What a great series. That fucking game for, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, never, never a game like that. This series was getting so exciting and so fantastic and so compelling and so the drama, all of it. It was so beautiful until fucking Kevin Cash goes, boop, steals it from all of us. Steals it from all of us. I'll tell you what, again, my nine-year-old grandson. After that, Grandpa, why did he take him out? I says, Analytics, the computer. <laughs> Disgusting. It's like fighting cancer. Yeah, I'm an old stats professor. Talk about an outlier. Kevin Blanche, the true outlier in the environmentalist community against the downright out fucking liars. I remember when I went into the bone marrow. Fimbo looks at me at LDS and he says, I know, Kevin, you've, I mean, this study, I remember one time he says, I found this study, and I looked at my back, I says, oh, you mean that one? He says, Kevin, you can ignore these numbers, and he says, I know I don't have to tell you this. I says, yeah, I'm a stats professor. 
you can throw, I've been an oncology doctor for so long, I've seen people less than 1% like I, I am now. And then it's just probably a shoot. It means shit in this because it's called an ANSET. So you can take that analytics and shove it up your ass because you're in a World Series. You're in a Game 6 by fighting cancer. All bets are off. We know the people that are big risk takers. If he left him in, oh, they do well with cancer. They do really well with cancer. Good with numbers and risk takers. I'm in the, the let me pull this out. This is a John Hopkins 1% survival bracelet. I'm in their study. I'm in the U.S. 1% study. They used to interview me all the time. We know because there's enough data on so-called 1%ers. What is the common denominator? Risk takers. By the way, homeless do very well with fucking cancer. People that are comfortable. We had this conversation with a young man today at the university. It's Kevin, I love your work. We're talking about philosophy. We got on the subject of Wilhelm Reich. And he started talking about different philosophers and different, he says, I says, well, you know, comfortability is a, oh yeah. Comfortability is a death sentence. And people think it's the zenith of life. He says, I know your path, Kevin, two months to live. Look at the way you go. You're all happy. You walk. I see you around, you know, and you just go. So yeah. You can throw stats out when it's like that in a game six. I mean, the end set's too small. This kid's adrenaline's pumping. This is the stuff that dreams are made of. You robbed it from him. Blake Snow got robbed. It doesn't matter about the money. And again, I will quote my... I remember when I was a nine-year-old boy. Shit, I love baseball. I remember that series. That'd be the 69 Mets. Think about freaking statistical probability. <laughs> And I love them Orioles then. Of course, I remember the 70 Orioles. I'll never forget that day with my little transistor radio at West River Elementary and freaking in my hand. My teachers let me listen to it. You know, I'm out in the schoolyard. She's like, she's listening too. What? Dave McNally? The Pioneer League guy? Grand Slam. You know, no pitcher's ever done it to this day. My nine-year-old son, grandson, today, this morning. Grandpa, I know you was rooting for those Rays, so was I, but why'd they pull him out? I explained analytics to him. He knew. I didn't have to explain. He says, they deserve to lose. Yeah. Still from us all. Still from all. Let's just have a fucking computer run the fucking game. There's no doubt in my mind he was going to fucking pitch a fucking one to nothing fucking. That's how that game was going to We'd be listening to it at game seven right fucking now. Compelling as hell. You know, the joy of fucking sport, the joy of fucking, you know, takes it from us all. Welcome to America. Stay in tuning.